So hello and welcome back to Gumadi's Coins Banknotes and today we are looking at the earliest US versions of coins issued in the Philippines. So what do I mean by US version? Well, in 19, I think it's 1901, the US had a war with Spain and took over the Philippines. So these are not the first coins of the Philippines. They were issued by the Spanish and but the smallest denomination they issued was a 10 centavos in 1864 so they issued silver coins for the philippines and before that coins were actually countermarked so uh, when the u.s took over they started issuing their own coins and they issued a whole set uh one five so where's my pen so we've got the large one five cent. There is a half a cent, but I don't have that coin. I did have a 1903 first year, 12 million. It was probably in EF condition. I uh, sold it for $30. Uh, then we had the five cent coins in base metal. So this was always been a copper nickel coin. Then we have the 10 cent coins. When I say cent, I mean centavos and my cat's annoying me. Then we have the 20 centavos and the 50 centavos. There is a one peso coin, but the last year of mintage of that one was uh, 1912. So that's a silver coin, large coin. And the interesting thing about these coins is that the silver content was higher than those issued in the United States. And the exchange rate was... Two pesos to one US dollar. So basically what I've written down here, we have the Morgan dollar, we have the weight, 26.73 grams. Quality of silver is 90%. So that will make 24.0757 grams of silver. Mexican peso, which the Philippines peso is based off, is 27 grams, 9.0. So you can see that the weight between the Mexican and the US dollar is totally different. And that's higher, so you've got 24.438 grams. So you've got 0.4 grams or roughly more silver. So Mexican peso would have had a higher value than the US dollar. And otherwise exchange rates. That would have been just the trade, but politics interferes with that. And the Philippines peso was uh, 26.956. And all this information is from Numa, so you can look it up. Okay, so it's 90 grams. So this is the 1903 to 1906. So you've got 24.26 grams of silver. And 1907 to 1912. When this was 1 to 2, it's 20 grams, 8 percent silver so 16 grams of silver per peso if you double that that's 32 that's in quite a high limit so uh, in that case i would have actually gone to the philippines taken as much pesos as i can gone back to the united states melted it down got it recoined and i would have made a profit so that's probably the most re likely reason why i'd actually reduced or actually eliminated the peso coin just too much silver in it okay and here we have, have a denomination so we have the u.s quarter so these are supposed to be equivalent uh 6.25 then as you can see the original 50 pesos was 13.46 so this is more likely equivalent to half a u.s dollar which is Okay, that's supposed to be 90%, uh, which is 12 and a half grams. So you've got 11 and a half grams, and you've got 12.12, so still more. Even if they were equivalent, the Philippines coin still has more silver than the US dollar. Then they reduce the extra silver content. But even if you double it, half a peso, so that's 13. No, 14, 15 grams. Hmm. But still, uh, that makes it a lot less silver than the Morgan dollar. 
so you've got 15 then you've got 24 so that does make sense but it doesn't make sense in the exchange rate so it's probably paper exchange rate so I will make videos uh, on the actual individual denominations uh, so but basically for the rest of this video uh, the only thing you need to know is there is two different coat of arms on the actual Philippines so we have the first coat of arms which is the US dollar US coat of arms so it has the glorified seagull and the shield uh, not glorified seagull bald eagle and the shield so this was issued uh, just checking it up from 1903 to uh, 19 30, 29, 1935 roughly, depending on the denomination. Uh, so 10 centavos went to 1935, the 20 went to 1929. So they only minted coins when they actually needed it. And on this side, we have just a woman with a hammer and an anvil and a volcano in the back. And then from 1937 to 1945, they issued the Philippines coat of arms. So this was US Philippines. And this is pretty much represents Spain. So it represents the actual province. If you look at the Philippines flag, they do have the American Eagle and the Philippines uh, um, um, the Spanish castle. Or is it the Spanish lion? I need to check it up again. So that coin well, was equivalent to 10 US cents on one dime. And it's actually quite a nice coin. Yeah. So that's the only other difference that you'll find with the, these coins is the two different coats of arms. You know, the 50 centavos. Wasn't, because it's a high value coin, would have lasted in circulation for quite a long time. It was issued in 1865. Uh, the US version was first issued in 1903. And it has the same reverse as the 10 and the 20, 20 centavos. And between 1921 and 1944, there were no coins minted. So this one's quite a high mint coin. So um yes we'll make two other videos one on the silver one on the base metal and we'll go from there anyway thank you very much awesome coin back collecting time thank you and goodbye